Uh, changes. Here's the defense we see every day. Here's the defense when you become the O-line coach in the SEC, you're going to see most of the time. Mint defense. Big people. So here we go. And then this would be where some of your tackle arc stuff would come from. Where we would jab and go. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you. Tackle arc is like influence trap. You got about two calls a game. Then the guy figures it out and he blows up your guard really tight. So you got about two calls a game, and then, but it's a good change up and it does help the tackles on this one-on-one -on -one block, which again, I'm going to talk, I want to talk about that and then maybe that's what I'll end on because I think I've got some thoughts on how to make that block that are a little different. Okay, so you see like, we, here we go. So we start kind of, a, this is 12 personnel, right? So that's a tight end up there to the right. We do a lot of shifting, a lot of motioning. Um, systematically, that's kind of how we're built. We're a run play action team. Uh, we do have the ability to play really fast and one word call things. We do that, but it's more of a change up than it is. We don't play the whole game like that. We don't live in that. But there's your kick out. There's your second kick out. I don't like the tight end. I don't think he used the correct shoulder. And what we get a lot of, what we get a lot of in our, in our um, in our conference is teams that play nickel to 12. And if you're going to play nickel to 12, we're going to run the ball at you. And we're going to find out how much that nickel wants to run, wants to fit the runs. So I think this is pretty good by the freshman guard here. But I think this tight end, he should be using his left shoulder. Pull left, kick left. Pull right, kick right. It's no, not complicated. And here's a good look at the tackle. Right? There it is. Good. Take away the run through. Now, maybe get your hat in front a little more, right? Get your hat in front, but he feels that run through, right? The further backside that guy is, the more likely he is going to be to run through. So, we found out early in this game that they were struggling with this play. So, we kept running it. And we just tried to, we, we started kind of inventing formations in the game to run it in. Because again, it's a simple play to run. And if people are having trouble fitting it, well, they're going to get a lot of it. All right, so we take the tight ends over there. Right, you can see like just the little, the little uncertainty by zero of, of what's going on. He's just not quite set when the ball snapped. And there it is. He's out of his fit. So we want, again, we want to bounce that guy over the top because we want to hit this thing A gap, B gap, there it is. Now I love the effort of, of, number, of number, uh, number nine here. He's throwing it in there. I'd like to see him on his feet a little bit more, but 